What's up, YouTube world? My name is Kevin McLeod, and welcome to another episode of The Man That Never Walked In. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about bullying. You know, I was someone that I got bullied a lot as a kid, you know, for having a big head, not really fitting in as far as the attire I used to wear, like how my grandmother used to dress me. And it bothered me a lot. It really brought down my self-esteem and made me feel like I was nothing as a person. So this is this video is really for like the young kids, the young adults. If you're being bullying, if you're being bullied, please go talk to your parents. Please go talk to someone and don't turn out like how I turned out because all the bullying, I didn't tell anybody. I just I only told God and I just let that frustration frustration kept building, building, building inside of me. And the next thing you know, I became this mean, hateful person on the inside. Like every time I saw someone, I just felt like I had to protect myself, you know, like they were out to get me, so to say. So you really had to watch out for that. And it really brought down my self-esteem, you know, it made me feel depressed, like I was nothing. I felt like, man, like no one really cares about me, no one really wants to be my friend everybody keeps picking on me and keeps talking down to me maybe i shouldn't be in this world and you have no idea how many times i wanted to kill myself commit suicide how many times i told god god just take my life because i was just i was so sick of being picked on you know it was so annoying like i used to look in my i used to look in the mirror all the time and ask myself like am i ugly you know is it me like what's what's going on and I would just hate my head, I would hate how I looked, how my body looked, like every time I walk out in public I would just be so insecure and it just bothered me for such a long time and after a while I said you know what, I can keep blaming these people for my issues or I can say you know what, I am a handsome young gentleman, I am intelligent, so what if I have a big head or so what if I dress a certain way, I'm not going to let that you know ruin my life and bring down my self-esteem like it was days i didn't eat um i got picked on so much i didn't even want to go to school i would make up excuses to my mom to my grandmother and to my mama why i didn't want to go to school i would say things like oh i didn't feel good or you know oh make up some kind of lie about how we didn't have school today and a lot of times it worked and other times it didn't but i was just so frustrated so upset so annoyed from being picked on you know it, it really bothered me a lot so I had to learn to overcome that and it's, it's tough you know it, it's really tough it's it's just a sad world that we live in so many kids are being bullied right now and then you wonder why so many schools and so many different places are being shot up chances are that person that did the killing and everything and I'm not saying he's he or she is right for wrong for, for what they're doing but I'm saying when you pick on someone so much and you keep you know keep poking at that wound eventually you know he's going to bite back or she's going to bite back and that's what almost happened to me and you know i could talk about this now but during the time i hated those kids so much like i would i would just say to myself Man, i can't stand them i can't wait for them to die like it was just i was just such a mean and hateful person because of the things that I've been through and I don't ever want to go through that and for you young kids young adults I don't want you to go through that either I want you to know that you're beautiful inside it doesn't matter what anyone says you know people are going to call you ugly people are going to hate on you people are going to talk bad about you people are going to talk down to you but at the end of the day you have to know and you have to realize that inside you know you're a truly beautiful person and I thought about it I said you know God created me so obviously God wanted me to look this way God wanted my head to be this size he wanted my skin color to be like this he wanted me to be this certain height, this certain weight for a reason. So you know what I did? I embraced it. You know, I said, you know what? I am a beautiful person. And there's someone out there, you know, you don't feel beautiful. You don't feel intelligent. You don't feel smart. You don't feel wanted. But you have to understand that at the end of the day, when all those people are dead and gone, who do you have at the end of the day? You have God. And his opinion is the only opinion that matters. So when you're feeling down and you're feeling depressed or these people are picking on you, say, you know what? God loves me. And that's all that matters. As long as God loves you, first of all, God's love, there's no love powerful, more powerful than God's love. None. Not even from your mother, your father, your brothers, your sisters, your auntie, your cousin. No love is stronger than God's love. So his love is the most important. So when you know that he loves you, when you know that he sent his only begotten son to die on the cross, when you realize those things, then everything that people say about you, it doesn't even matter. 
People can talk down about you. People can talk down to you. People can talk bad about you. It won't even affect you. Like, people can pick on me now and they talk about me now, but it doesn't phase me because I know who I am as a person. And it took me a while to get to this point, but I want to save you from reaching the point where I was going. You know, I was heading down the wrong path. You know, I was really hating people. And I hated people that didn't even do anything to me. It's like if you approach me a certain way and if I felt like I had to put up a defense, like I was going to, I don't know, like, <laughs> there's no telling what I would have done you know the old me I just had so much built up anger I would hurt people you know because I got tired of being hurt I said you know what I'm tired of being nice I'm gonna hurt people now so they know how it feels and that wasn't right you know and I hey, I'm human I've learned from my mistakes but that's the road I was going down you know I would purposely try to hurt people because so many people hurt me so there's just some words of encouragement you know I hope this motivates people to stop bullying stop picking on people at the end of the day we're all guys children you know we're all brothers and sisters so we need to learn to get along with each other all this bullying has to stop it has to go it's going to get absolutely nowhere and all you're doing is killing our generation. You're bringing out people's self-esteem. You're, you know, you're killing people's ego, whatever you want to call it. And it needs to stop. We need to come together, show love, show appreciation, and stop hating on one another. Hate, stop hating on one another. So I hope this video motivates somebody. I may not know you, I may not know you, but I love you all. As my favorite quote goes, God is love and love is God. Thank you.